Listen, man, in the <laughs> building. Yeah, yeah. We got a brother. We got a loved one. We, you know, we got to start saying too. What? The authority on R and B money, R and B everything, uh-huh. and everything that come along with R and B. You heard it. He said it. I can I can't repeat on. all that from now on. Because everything. Everything, everything come along with R and B. Everything come along with R and B. Huh? Um, listen, man, I'm not going to make the intro too long, man. Okay? Okay? The chain is big. Because you might make everybody mad. The, the chain is big and the money's long. Yeah. Give it up for O.C. Genesis. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Hey. Come on, man. First, first, let me say it like this. First, let me, let me say this. Let me, get, let me get this off my chest. First of all, O.T. <laughs> oh, is shit. the nicest, <laughs> nicest guy. funniest guy in the the world. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. I say in the world, in the world. Always smiling. <laughs> but <clears throat> <laughs> don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with him. Yeah. Don't play with his people. Because yeah, yeah. for the smallest thing, yeah, yeah. I'm talking the smallest thing, OT will go there. I'm like, you're like big bro, what's, what's, what's going on? Oh man, he brought me some cold fries. Cold fries, God? <laughs> Who brought you the fries? God, like, oh, it's, it's just fries. No, it ain't just fries. It's the principle, God. They taking your kindness they for weakness, They taking your weakness, God. They trying to say you cold out here. You hot out here in these streets, God. I'm going to have a hundred niggas. I, it's just fries, OT. It's the principle, God. He will go. Hey, hey listen, that's, like, uh, that's Muay Thai Cub. Listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> and he can really fight. That's the problem. That's the problem. But I love it because nigga, he stand on all the business. All of it. If he fucking with you and he got love yeah, for you, nigga, yeah, yeah. he's not gonna let nobody play with you. Yeah. 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 It yeah. starts there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man! I just be, this is a few incidents I could go into. Where I'm just like, oh, Tino, stop it! Please don't do this. <laughs> I, can't, I ain't letting nobody play with my bro, man. It ain't happening. We be having no. fun. Did OT hit that switch? He did it. Ain't, like, it ain't his fun no I'm more. Like, oh man! <laughs> I don't be sad. I be sad for the other people. Yeah. Like, OT, we just bowling. I'm a bowl this nigga head down the lane. <laughs> It's your turn. <laughs> it's, it's your turn. I, I be having to go back to the people and apologize. I'm so sorry, my little brother. He, you know, he, he was, laughing like that because I really was like, it's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he just. What you mean it's my turn? He just, <laughs> what you mean? Oh, he just love. God. He just love hard. I just. just <laughs> I'm sorry oh about that. Oh my God. I thought my life was in danger. It was, but don't worry about it. He's fine. He's, you know? Oh, man. Oh, man. I just had to get that off, off my oh, chest, man. I love intro. you, brother. I Ooh. appreciate you, brother. <laughs> great intro. Always. Uh, great intro. You know, we've had many a deep conversation, man. And, you know, I think that for me, and of course I can speak for Jay, bringing you here on the R&B Money podcast is like, you know, it's it's one of those things where, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe as, as an overall title, you consider yourself a rapper. I consider you a songwriter. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I consider yeah. you a hit songwriter. Yeah. yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And you've done that, whether it just be rap or whether it be melodic or whether you go ahead and just fucking sing, get your remix on yeah, and get yeah. to it. Yeah. Like you've done all of that. Yeah. And I think that that conversation is, and that information is important for everybody yeah all the way yeah. across the board yeah yeah so let's go let's go back to the beginning let's, let's, what, let's, what was what was Lil ot doing mm, riding hmm? through the beach huh, long beach. Yeah. what was Lil ot doing yeah man? i was i was um i was in like i was in long beach running around you know um shooting dice at school you know selling candy for some money you know all that type of stuff um Obviously, like, 
I'm from Long Beach, so you know, we rap a certain type of thing over mm-hmm. there. Um, I don't know if you say that on this podcast. You can say whatever you, you know, want to say. Yeah, we here so, for you. Yeah, so you know, we come from like crib culture and everything like that. Um, I wanted to play football, but I was bad as hell, so I was always ineligible. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you look so, ineligible. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as I, I look at you right I, now. <laughs> look, I, mean, I, I, go, I, I go ball. That little nigga fast, but he ain't got no grades. <laughs> He ain't got good grades. I know he do. <laughs> That's probably scaring you through it. That nigga fast as a motherfucker. <laughs> Low his grades. Make sure he don't play. Yeah. And so my grades was bad, but I never, I never, I never got to like. I'm one of the dudes that like. I always used to get confused, and then I start saying for school only because I like go there and I like do. I do good. I do. I finish all my homework and then fail at all the tests. Because I, ne- I I would never like retain. You couldn't retain. Yeah, I can retain the information. I'll just make sure I complete what I need to complete. Got you. You got know you. what I'm saying. Got you, got you. And so um, and so I started doing music then. Like by the time I'm like 16, but then I went to like like seven high schools. You went to like I went to like seven. seven yeah, because I was yeah, because I everybody wanted me to go to their school. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, I'll be over there next week. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not a party. <laughs> no, I'm gonna pull up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I got, I got, I got kicked out of all of my, all the schools I was, I was, I was going to. So I got kicked out of like every school that I went to. And then I found seven high school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, I was getting, I was getting kicked out of like districts, and so. <laughs> And so I would, so I would, I would start like in one, in one, and then I go like I gotta go from Long Beach to Cerrito. We don't want you to go to any of these ten schools, <laughs> right? You can't go to none of these. So what you're saying is you've been doing club hosting. You. <laughs> so, oh, you're perfect for the, for the music what? business. So, so, <laughs> this, this nigga, <laughs> he only had two hour requirements. So what? He come to his hour and a half. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'll let y'all. I was kidding. So like, because they were like, I was so bad. They were like, nah, we're kicking you out of the district, not out of the school. The we're school. not going to expel you from the school. Because right. you're going to go down there and do the same shit. So I would get kicked out, whatever. But I, I was doing music. And um, I used to like go online and go. Hold like, on, I want to go back to something real quick before mm-hmm. you can go to the music. Mm-hmm. I want to go to this. I was so bad because I was really bad in school. Yeah, and I don't know why I was really bad in school. Hmm. Like I was just up for whatever challenge, whatever another nigga wouldn't do. Right, I right, do. right. Before it was before I got to high school. Right before I found the Lord, <clears throat> the Lord changed me. Um. But before that, and, and and the psychologist tried to give me, you know, all these reasons as to why. And your parents, and they left you early and went overseas without you, which is, you're rebelling. I was like, no, I'm not rebelling. Nigga just said he wanted to fight. I was with it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was with it. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Teacher said some bullshit, and I called him an yeah. asshole. Like, that's just, I was, that's just what I was on. Right. What was your thing? What was it that made you that way? Was it just, you was just like taking all challenges? Um, just- yeah, I was, especially when I left Long Beach, because when you kicked me out of school, I'm like, it was kind of like I felt that, like I was already, I, I was already bad because like, it, like when I had to, I always had to catch the bus. Mm-hmm. So I catch the bus. Um, when I get to like the train station, like they banging on you on the train station. For those who don't know, it's like, oh, like yeah, where you yeah, from? Yeah. Oh, so you start to get it. You get in. You already have that energy. Before I'm already, you get already to had school. that energy before I even get to school. You know what I'm saying? And then we like shoot dice at the McDonald's outside my school. In the morning, like so, we will try to. We, that's that, that. That's what make us get up early, you know. Because <laughs> so we shoot dice. Guy. You said we yeah. got to. We got to shoot dice at McDonald's before we before we go across the street. And so, um, but some, some time but, in the game. But my, like. my 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 my, you know, all through my youth, I have to catch the bus and catch the train, and that's when you run into niggas and you run into whoa, whoa, and this. Oh, where you from? Oh, oh. Oh damn, we got to get off on this stop because the whoop's over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So da 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 da. da. So it, yeah. it, you know what I mean. Yeah, and so, yeah. um, so then when I when I left Jordan, my 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 main school, that's like my home school across like down the street from my house. 
And I left out of Long Beach. I'm always looking at other niggas different, you know, because they looking at me and I'm like, what's up with you niggas on? You know, so I'm instantly, it's a it's a defense mechanism, yeah. you know, and but I'm like, I'm tripping. And I'm like, I always, now, now I'm, I'm, I'm always trying to prove myself to somebody, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And, and prove that I ain't no bitch, I ain't no da da da, I come from here, yeah. you know? So when somebody say something to you here, even if it's not, even if it's not like really threatening like that, you take it like that because you know you come from yeah. a certain place. So I can't the way I'm trying to collect this information that you telling me right now you is differentiate. Look, it it all it all feels it all feel the same offensive, nigga. It, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I what would you do mean that. these nice jeans. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Yeah. So I, I would I would do that. <laughs> what you mean? So I would do that. You know what I mean? I had like I used to have like my um you know when we had the the eye um the i seven thirties and next tails and all that, you know. I used to do that. I used to bring like, with like call, yeah, call my homies. You know what I mean? Like bring guns to school. I used to have, have my little deuce fives in my little backpack and everything like that. Like I used to be like, I used to be like on bullshit. Oh, to you, was really out of control. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But but I, <laughs> yeah, but it was like it, because every time I I get on a bus stop and I get on a train, they got this thing called a blue line, right? Mm-hmm. L A. And you go from Long Beach, you got the Long Beach station, the Artesia station, then you got the Wilmington station, which is um, Compton, then you got the 103rd station, which is Watts, you know, and your shit keep going all the way from Long Beach to downtown, to downtown LA. Neighborhood. So you're going through every hood. And when you get off, you get off the train, you know, it's sometimes these niggas sitting outside, and they just sitting outside the train station tripping. You know what I mean? Like, just get, nobody want no money, no nothing. We just here tripping. Trip, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so I was always moving that way to protect myself. So gotcha. I'm like, I'm like overly protective about myself. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm like, um, I'm aggressive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I'm overly protective yeah. by myself. And at 16, you can't turn that on and off. Yeah. No, you yeah. You yeah, can't yeah, turn yeah, that yeah, on yeah. and off. It's, it's like, not like, oh, now I'm in a classroom. Now I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn this 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 tripping off. Yeah. No, no, I'm yeah. tripping on everything because, because I I, yeah. got, I gotta be like this for You're shit not to happen to me. To protect you. I'm in survival mode, so I, yeah. I gotta be like this for nothing nothing to happen to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you gotta initiate it so motherfuckers know off the top. So exactly, don't fuck with exactly. Leave him alone. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not waiting for a nigga to run up on me and move. I'm like, as soon as I get up, I'm saying it. What's happening? What's yeah. up? Whatever. I'm yeah. instantly. I, don't, I ain't. And and I always felt like I had to be that way, you know. And that. <laughs> Obviously, that's what got me kicked out of all these damn schools. Yeah, you know those others. I, I got to be the. I always feel like I had to be the aggressor. The aggressor. Yeah, you know. Yep. All right. So you was going into the computer, into the music. Yeah. So I so I would um I would look on, on online and I would see certain things where it's on um damn what's that site? Um, was it LimeWire back then? No, 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 no. Where they like sell stuff in cars and eBay. In Craigslist, to Craigslist, Craigslist, Craigslist. Craigslist. Yeah. right, yeah. Yeah. and then like Love people Craigslist. were like, yeah. you know, and they would just do like people would put up like shows, and so where you like an artist got to sell tickets and everything. And back then they had Sean Healy, they had all this, all this stuff, right? Where like yeah, that's what is that Golden Voice? Yeah, I think it was yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, and so like um they would have like artists perform, but you had to sell like ten tickets. But what was to going get on, on the show. to yeah. get on the show? Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. like if I sell ten, he sell ten, he sell ten, he yeah. sell ten. We got a pack. We got a pack, pack show, show. Yeah. and all our people was there. Yeah. So I would. That's what. That's what I would do. Sell tickets, whatever. But every time I perform, they be like, "Damn, he a great performer. You da da da. We love your music, blase blase." But this is me, young, you know. And um, I kept doing that, kept doing that, kept doing that, and um, you know, you you start to meet people and. You start to grow and people start to grow, mm-hmm. you know, as, as you guys are, are, are going up. And um, and then I start meeting people that's like, they're like, yo, we're going to put you on this show. And, um, you know, you win this contest, you um, you you do a, 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 a song with Lil Wayne. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You're like, what? And then, they, you know, then they have this. And then, but the whole time they like, they finessing you out, gotcha. your, out your bread. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so they're trying to figure out who could sell the most tickets. So if you can sell 30, you know, 30 tickets at $10, $10 each or $20, $20 each, you know, and that's how the people, how they was making money. Mm-hmm. So um, so years after that go by and I do a song um, out here, it was a song called Touchdown that I did. And 
met this guy there, and this guy, I think it was a Jamaican guy. He was like, "Yo, you sign it? Sign anybody?" I'm like, "Nah." He's like, "All right, cool. I got, I got, I got somebody, you know, um, for you to talk to." I'm like, oh, "Okay, cool." So, so, um, come to happen, the guy that he was talking about was his name was Dino. His name was Dino Devaye. So, um, he had signed Cash Money, and he was trying to sign Fifty. But when he uh, he was trying to sign Fifty at Universal originally, before Fifty went to Interscope, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so he still, but. Universal didn't want to sign Fifth because of all the shit, the guns, the this, 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 yeah, this. So like, we're not, we're not signing him. So I guess, so Fifth still kept um, a relationship with him because mm-hmm. he was trying to make something happen, you know. And then he sent over the music. So Dino sent over the music to Fifth, and then Fifth called me, and I'm helping like, I'm helping my boy move. I got a refrigerator, like. I'm on a dolly, helping my homeboy move out of his apartment. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like 50 cent card. Yeah, they like, yo, da 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 da. Some guy go get on the phone. I'm on the phone with Dino. Then he goes, yo, da 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 da. Yeah, um, yeah, that, that guy's 50 cent. Da-da. What? So I'm on the phone. What's up, nigga? Oh, whoa. so now me and Fifth on the phone. We talking for like an hour. You still got the like, refrigerator on you? So, so, no, nah, nah, I gotta wait. <laughs> but, but look, I got the, I got, I got all the. It's like we got all, we got the truck right there. Yeah. We're really moving, yeah. bro. Like yeah. I'm really helping him yeah. move. Yeah. And so Fifth was like, yo, so we chopping up. He's like, look, man, we gonna do something. So listen, when we get off this phone, I think he said, he was, I remember he was like, when we get off this phone, don't go around telling your whole hood you rich, right? <laughs> he was like, that's the last like, thing he told me. Like, yeah, he said, don't go around telling your whole hood you rich, right? And so um, he was like, I'm gonna come meet you in LA. I'm like, all right, cool. So he came meet me in LA. Um, we chopped it up. And then that's around the time he was doing like his SK headphones, his his um, yeah. energy drinks, all mm-hmm. that stuff. So we was running around. And it was like me, him, and Floyd. That's when him and Floyd was like yeah. mm-hmm. super tight. And um, but I didn't know what a single deal was. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You just know you got a deal. Oh, you know, offering you a single deal. He's offering me a single deal. Song for the song. For exactly. For touchdown. And so um, okay, boom. So now the deal's over, and I'm kind of like, yo, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? But I'm not knowing that this is a single deal. So this is for one song you're being signed for. And um, I was like, okay, cool. But I always say it in contact with him. I always check, you know what I mean? Check in, check in, whatever. So maybe um, I'm like, so I tell Dino who was- How the song, the song came out? Yeah, it yeah. came out. It not came out. Yeah. yeah, it came out. And um, it was all right. Um, but then I tell, Dino became my manager at that time after he made the play. So I'm like, oh, what's going on? He's like, no, this is just a single deal. It's Nah, like this is how things work or whatever. I'm like, oh, I thought I was signing 50 forever. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, like, nigga, he's like, I got a deal. He's like, this is G. What's going on? I'm waiting forever. Yeah. I got a room at the house. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> chef is on deck. You know, shit, wow, man. Shit, you, you got to come through. You got to come through and see what yeah. me and 50 doing. We're really building. <laughs> yeah. So I, so I don't, you know, I don't know these don't things. Know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm so, I'm new to this and whatever. So um, I just buckled down, um, kept recording. And then um, three years later, I'm in um, Playhouse out here, Hollywood, and I'm performing. And then I meet Buster. And then Buster's like, yo, who you signed to? Da-da-da. I'm like, nobody. He's like, oh, let's go talk to the studio. Let me at the studio. Let's go talk about it. Cool, cool. And then when I go home, I'm like, what's up all these New York niggas? <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I think I'm right here. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And so... um. And so I meet him at the studio. We start chopping it up. We start talking about life and and and, and principles and you know everything. And I was telling him like, as a man, like, you know what I go for, what I ain't going for, I, what I, you know, yeah, certain yeah. things like, and um, and so we cool. So he goes to Atlantic, um, gives me a deal at Atlantic, you know, um, and they give him a label deal. They give me a deal, get a label deal, obviously through me, and so um, now. They gave me some money. Nigga, I ain't record for damn near a year, right? Off oh, for your advance? Yeah, I'm spending the money, right? <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> so I'm spending the money, right? Now you, got a, now you have a full record deal. Yeah. Right, right, right. I have a full record deal. Yeah. So now I'm not knowing it. I just know they gave me some money. Nobody's teaching me. And what like, year is this? This is 2014. Wow, okay. Wait. Yeah, no, no, it's 2013. Mm-hmm. It's 2013. And then um, the the December of 2013 is when it's happened. 
And so it gets to like August. And the A&R come, my A&R, um, Riggs at the time, he came with some verbiage. I don't know what he's talking about. So I asked them, I'm like, what are you saying? They're like, oh, they, they're saying that they about to drop you, you know, at the end of the year. You haven't put out no music. It's no, 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 nothing. I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm panicking, right? So. Because you thought at this point they just paid you to party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping so. I thought <laughs> Look, <laughs> hoping that look was the I'm agreement. like, they gave me some money. I'm thinking, look, right now, I'm like, they ain't gave me some money. I'm like, you know, y'all ain't, you know, I had to like hustle for shit like this. Like, y'all gave right. me some money? Okay, cool. And so um, we get into August. They gave me that conversation. We get to September. I drop, I, um, I record Coco, right? And um, I record Coco, and I was about to shoot, we was about to shoot another video for a, a different song I that I did. Song. Right, so watch this. Check this is the coldest thing ever. <clears throat> so, this song we was about to put out, and we shot a video, everything big budget video, everything. I was like, Oh, this shit is about to be lit, right? And I saw the video, and I was like, I don't like it. And this is when I start going, I start paying attention where I really start to understand videos and understand that editors. Make the video Fuck as well. Up. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm like, what happened to that scene? What happened to that scene? What happened to that scene? You see all those dope moments that mm -hmm. made you excited about the video mm -hmm. is not right in the video? Yeah. You go, oh, man, I don't, I said, I don't like it. Then he goes, so what you want to do? And then Bust like, so what you want to do? I'm like, man, I don't, I don't like it. He's like, you got another song? I'm like, I got another song I'm going to put out. This, this is exactly how it went. This is We're for, supposed this to put this- Coco video. No, 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 this is the whole second song. Yeah, yeah. No, song after Coco. No, no, no. This is this song. It was a song called Yum Yum that I did, right? Okay. And we were supposed to put it out. I didn't like the video. Big budget video, so everything. Scrap it. Yeah. I didn't like it. Scrap it. I don't like it. I'm like, I'm not putting that out. I don't like it. So Bus looking at me like, so what you want to do, OT? And he's like, stressed out. Like, what the? F we just shot a whole. Right. You know, yeah, we yeah, just spent right. that money on you. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to do. I, I recorded some shit the other night that I want to do, right? Okay, cool. So he's like, all right, let me hear it. That song, that song was Coco. We go, shoot the video on the project. It ain't no budget no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no budget. No budget, budget. Ain't no budget on no yum, more. Yum. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. exactly. <clears throat> shoot that video. Everybody was scared. Like, look at all this shit you put in the video. Da 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 da. I drop that bitch. That motherfucker said, "Hey, listen, Moon." I remember the first time I heard it. I remember it. I want to say I was in Greystone. Yeah. What year, what year is that? 2014? 14. Yes. That's around that time. Yeah, time. around that time. That's, Good time. Yeah. And that shit kicked in and I was like, what the fuck is that? And we had no idea you was from California. Yeah. I love that part. Yeah. We had no idea you was from California. And I kind of want to go back to what, when you were saying, you were like, all these cats from New York mm -hmm, mm -hmm. had reached out to you. Do you feel like the politic with the culture that y'all have in LA mm -hmm. kind of kept people away from reaching out to you to do a deal? I think that <clears throat> I think that um let me tell you let me tell you this short story. Um, I used to run around with this, um, DJ, DJ Amen. He DJ Amen, radio from the Bay. Amen, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and Amen did everything to try to get me on. Mm -hmm. But they were like, the music that he does, everything, he don't sound like a West Coast artist. This is what people, DJs are saying, right? And obviously I used to hustle in Atlanta all the time. I used to hustle. And so everybody was like he's from atlanta he's from i never said I, I wasn't i never said nothing i'm like i'm gonna play the game hmm. and so it's crazy because your own city be like oh well if you don't sound like you from here you from here then you ain't from here you know what i mean yeah yeah but nigga i'm from here for sure for sure yeah, yeah. but they're like oh if you don't sound like you from here then we can't give you that love <clears throat> like that because we feel like that's that may be not it's maybe not deemed authentic to our culture, mm -hmm. you know, as far as LA is concerned. Yeah. And so when I understood that, I played the card. And by the time they re realized where I was from, it was too late. Yeah. So then, so when it was like, oh, 
Oh, he see walking over here. Da, da, da. I'm from Long Beach, bro. I'm from down the street. What right. Talk about right. And anybody who know needs from here, like, oh, he cold. So I just played the game. The system. Yeah, that's how it came. Him. That's how it came. It was back too late. Around. Like, yeah. now, now you had to love me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and, and it worked out in your yeah, favor. Yeah. Absolutely. Because that's how it came back around from, obviously, I'm from the Bay, and yeah. A-Man's from the Bay, and he had been telling me about mm -hmm, you, right? Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize it was the same artist. Yeah. I didn't realize the same it's artist. crazy. Because, like you said, when you first hear Coco, you can't, you really can't say where the artist where is from. Where he's from. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. You know what I mean? Because for, for one, you're always yelling at people. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. Don't, know what, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you like to yell at us. <laughs> I'm in love. With the coco, like, uh, I didn't know if you're Spanish. I didn't know why. I didn't know if you're Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> that bato got tools, man. <laughs> that is Big so fat. funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, listen, I'm with Floyd Mayweather in the strip club. That's a great place to hear. First, he time. like, yeah. What's his tank? Like, <laughs> what's his tank? <laughs> that song came on. I know he records it. I know he records. This is oh, a yeah. fucking hit record tape. <laughs> I'll miss this one. I'm like, who the fuck is that? What you doing this, huh? He doing this. He doing this. <laughs> I said, what the fuck is that? Nigga. I went to the strip club. Floyd, mm -hmm. Floyd went to the strip club. He played that. I was in there. Play it again. Play it again. Oh, no. Play it again. Oh, yeah. That was his favorite song. Yeah. Play it again. Because that's back when you that... used to walk around with the uh what's the what's the shit? The uh that not before the before the iPhone they had the i what is it? I uh it was like the little iPod? The iPod. Yeah. He used to walk around with the iPod with the motherfucking uh headphones on. Yeah, when I understand that nigga played that song over and over, over and it. over. Yeah. <laughs> play, yeah. Tell DJ to play my shit. Play my shit. Don't play my shit. <laughs> play my shit. You can buy bottles to it. What? Throw a hundred thousand ones yeah. to yeah. it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I seen him I seen him. I seen him in the club go throw like 80 and it was all on Coco. Back to back to back to Jeez. back to back. And I'm in there like, and, 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 when, and when they come in with, they come in with boxes. Yeah. Boxes. yeah. You know what I'm saying? They come yeah. with boxes. Yeah. They got to put the money in the boxes. It's, it's only we go. It's too much. <laughs> and it's over and over. It's my shit though. Yeah. And I'm like, this shit is crazy, <laughs> man. <laughs> This shit is crazy. Back to it's not another song. Not one other song coming mm. on. He like, if you want to keep throwing this money, Play yeah, this keep record. playing this song. So I so I'm going to I'm going to just guess that uh Atlantic didn't drop you. <laughs> no, and that and at that point Once when Coco I when I started out. to understand music, I said, damn, I wish they did. Oh ha. that independent. <laughs> 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 Because this whole time, I thought that he had Coco independent before you did that deal. You didn't. Mm -mm. You did that record right because there. they was about I to drop your ass. I dropped. I literally recorded Coco, boom, well, like September. Um, shot, the, shot a video late September. Dropped Coco November of 2014. And they said when they were supposed to drop me at the end of the year. So I probably had like one month, month so, before they so let now, me go. And so, mind you, mind you. When I dropped it, they didn't service it. It just went. Got you. Boom. Oh, got and you. then right. they had to catch on later, but it was too. To, yeah. It was too. It was too big. It's gone. Yeah, yeah. It was too big. Yeah. So, how much you think that cost you? The if video you would have been independent. How much money you think it cost you being signed? To shoot catching that. No, 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 no. How much money do you think you would have got in your pocket if you would have been in indie been with indie. that record? What you think? I don't mean to make you mad. You <laughs> had to think about this, but you know. <laughs> if you drop Coco as an independent artist, Jeez. it and takes off the same way it did because you didn't pay the label. With a, with a 85, 15? Or a 90, 10? Or a 90, 10? How many are sold? It, it, it. What's the numbers today on Coco? I forgot how much. How much I'm gonna plan one, but I'm gonna tell you one thing. Like Google search. I'm gonna tell, tell you one thing. Because you know your perform, your performance royalties alone. My performance yeah. royalties is crazy. Alone, right? But how much money I made on the road just oh, doing oh, show, yeah, show, yeah, on, yeah, on yeah. just doing shows off of Coco? Yeah, like I'm like somewhere like in like ten. I can believe it. Yeah, I'm somewhere I can like believe. ten, Easy. Like ten. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just off Coco. Just off the yeah, just off the shows. Easy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just off show. And then I, I went to go double back, and everybody's like, oh, he's a one-hit wonder. He's da-da-da. And yeah. I'm like, I'm hearing this the whole time, right? 
And I'm like, oh, shit. So what I'm going to do, I'm like, damn, I'm still getting money on the road. They, and when I'm doing interviews, they ask me, so what's next? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know what I did after that? Cut it. Boom. We young dog. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. <laughs> cut it, cut I'm going to tell you what he used to be doing when we be in the club. Ah! <laughs> yeah, she would come on, and that nigga take it, just look at me and go like that. <laughs> I used to sing like, like a church. I used to nigga, sing like man? a deacon when he come on. It's like cut it, 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 cut it. Lord, you gotta cut it, cut it for me, Lord. Them bricks, <laughs> Them bricks is way too high. You gotta cut it, Lord. Cut it, cut it. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, because 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 now we're starting to get into now we're starting to get into songwriting and consistency yes. and, yeah. and understanding and, and understanding and being a professional at this shit, being able to dial it up on mm -hmm, demand. Mm -hmm. When you did Coco, did you feel like you had found something that you took from uh, just 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 from a format standpoint to to do Cut It, or was Cut It just a new build for you completely? Um. Um. Really, I'm not even gonna lie. I was just drinking alcohol, and I'm. Just <laughs> you want to write hit records, kids? You want to write records like OT Genesis? <laughs> and I and I get you some and, so, and sometimes it just open like because like, and I'm not trying to tell, promote drinking, right? But what I say is like um, when I'm when I'm drinking, like even with my personality, like. The only thing it does is elevates it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but I could be, be really happy or really upset. You know? But um when I'm in a studio and I'm drinking, I'm in I'm in I'm at home. You know, I, it's the vibes. I feel like I'm in a club. I feel like I'm, you know, and so um I actually recorded Cut It and Push It the same night. Go get the money. Go. I recorded that shit the same night. I recorded both of them the same night. Same night. The same night, yeah. And so it's cooking. And so um but it's not like you're encouraging, like, oh, drink and you're going to make hit records. Yeah. I think you're speaking from a place of you're just your comfort zone. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Me yeah, in yeah, the studio, yeah, yeah. having right. a beverage. Having a the, good, just the having energy, a good time. Having yeah. a good time. Yeah. Just like having a good time. No, everybody has yeah. their methods. Yeah, everybody has their, yeah. their environment yeah, that they yeah. need to because, create. Yeah. Because when I was coming up and I was making music, um, it was always fun for me. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, then when I started getting a deal and everything and I watch everybody else, I'm like, damn, everybody's so serious. You know? And I'm like, it ain't it ain't fun no more. So when you when you when you create that that lane to where um it's fun again and you like a kid again, that's when you start making all that your good best music. That, your best music. We talk because, about that. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Cause it's it's yeah. fun, you know. It, you know, sometimes we we, you know, we we worry about um, criticism or other people, how other people think, or whatever. It's but just so much pre uh, it's so much pressure, unnecessary pressure. But yeah, but you never felt that when you were trying to get on. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you were trying to get on, it was just like this: is who I am. Da, 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 da. Yeah. You sing your ass off. Yeah, you are doing it. Yeah. Nothing was a bad song. Nothing yeah. was that. Nothing was. You, you keep listening to that shit. Your whole leader studio. <clears throat> you get a copy of that. You listen it the whole way home. Like damn. <clears throat> and so I had to, it, you know, it was psychological for me. So I had to go, you know what? Let's get back in that lane. Let me just go have fun. And even if I don't record nothing tonight, that's okay. I bring people to the studio. Everybody have a drink. Y'all have a drink here. We're going to party. Have a good, whatever come to me, come to me. And if I don't record anything this night, that's that's okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I know what I came. I came to have a good, have time, a good time and record. Yeah. And listen, and within that good time, even if it's not that night, reflecting on that good time, oh shit, there's a record, there's a gem in there, there's a there's yeah. a moment where we was saying whatever we was saying, oh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put that in there. Like, yeah. the experience is what makes the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Living yeah. this shit is what makes the record. Yeah. You know, people ask me like, how do you stay current? I was like, I just stay alive. Yeah. <laughs> For real. That's how you as stay current. As long as you yeah. living. I, I write about today. Mm -hmm. I'm, I write about things I actually do. I'm doing mm -hmm. these things. Mm -hmm. I'm putting mm -hmm. the shit on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm at Neiman Marcus. I'm I'm, I'm surfing through the through the drip. Yeah, you know you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm you know I'm at the strip club. You know, so I know where they got the best chicken tenders. Yeah, I know where the best Impossible Burger is. It's at Magic City. Mm -hmm. I'm in there. So it's like as you 
as you live and you're in it and you stay in it, it don't matter if you do it that night or even even that week. Don't put don't put that unnecessary yeah, pressure. Yeah, on yeah, you. yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Art ain't like that. Yep. You just know I'm a. At the end of the day, I'm a. I'm gonna get back to the plate and I'm a bat again. That's it. So Coco, and then the second one is cut it, cut, cut it. it, and then the third one is push, push it. it, and then um after that was. I think thick. I did thick with two chains. That's my shit. And, thick. Um, yeah. So did you? I can't even. Pass when did you? Them? When did you realize though that you were doing, or do you realize that you do motivational music? You, you know what? I feel like I can lift the whole gym. That's great. Yeah. When I'm listening to OT Genesis, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, 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 I be like, yeah. push, put, okay, yeah. okay. Well, yeah, y'all got yeah, some yeah, more yeah, weight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck around and throw your whole back out. Yeah, yeah. Come on, push it. Oh, yeah, push, 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 I just got back from the gym listening to you. You know what I mean? No, yeah. bro, for real. No, um, yeah. And I, 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 and I never knew it like that. I just always because I used to like, and still to this day, like, I like I party so much and have a good time so much. So when I am like, I spent so much time in a club. Like girls just be like, you always in a club. You always da 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 da. I'm like, yeah. Well, my music is there too, sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. are you doing here? Yeah. What, are, <laughs> what are you doing? Here? <laughs> I, I'm doing research. I'm just, yeah. yeah, I'm and actually so, in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I so I so I, I I listen to um the vibration, um the sounds, I listen to the pockets, I listen to what other people like, I listen, and so I start making records to where it started becoming like, like chants. Yeah. You know? And I'm not knowing it, but I'm knowing it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so while I spend time in the club and I'm partying and I see, I can hear what catches somebody, and I go. Okay, I'm not gonna do exactly what that is, but if I do what I do and I get to catch them the way catch that, same, that caught them, yeah, then yeah, I'm, yeah. you know, I'm good. So mm-hmm. when I am in the studio, I'm in a club, mm-hmm. you know, and 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 um, I'm near and I'm like, what if I'm like, nah, 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 that don't sound right. Okay, no, nah, I, I said too many words right here. It's not gonna be. It's to the to the to the the human ear. The regular, not, yeah, the number. It's yeah, not, not gonna, gonna resonate. Yeah. yeah, okay, so I gotta. What's catchy? Would it be there? Okay, for if I say this, okay, the, then I play it back. I'm like, all right, cool. I look good. I look like bae. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? It's so much. It's no, so you're much giving stuff. real information right now. You're giving <clears throat> a master class in songwriting. Yeah. yeah. Because, listen, you know your pocket. You know where your music belongs. Yeah. You make music for the club. Mm-hmm. You make music for the club. So, okay, what are the elements of the club? People are either singing off key, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They they really can't remember a whole bunch of shit because yeah. they might be drunk, so they yeah. need only a certain amount of words. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. Like you yeah. said, like yeah. okay, maybe I said too much. That is a that is that is songwriting. Mm-hmm. That is truly songwriting. Somebody could try to, you know, you got the purists of the world that be like, oh well, no, you must do this. No, motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. You must take yourself away from your extreme talented self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. say what. With these people, the person who hasn't been to Berkeley School of Music, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. what are what are they going to dance to? Yeah, how yeah. can I motivate them? Yeah, in their lives, what do they want to ride around in the car to? Right, right, and that's exactly what you've been doing. Right, and it's like, who's in the club? Who's in the club? Who, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's my client? Who's my clientele? Yeah. Your clientele, <laughs> my clientele. <laughs> right, yeah, I like listen, that. One. Listen, yeah. it's drug dealers, mm-hmm. it's gangsters, mm-hmm. yeah, and all the other niggas in the other niggas that want to be and drug dealers, want to be gangsters, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and the most beautiful women, yeah, to put they put that shit on yeah. to yeah. be recognized or seen, right? By the so you 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 give them voices, and I, yeah. I also understand that that if I want to get the attention of these women that's here, mm-hmm. if I get the attention of these guys that's here. These guys are the ones that's paying for these tables, and these women are the ones that's singing the song with these guys because these guys are the guys with the money who, who's paying, who for, paying these for these tables. So they attach themselves to them. They love them free you know drinks. What I'm so, so when so girls will go, you see girls pull up. 
uh, you go to a house party, you go to an event, you go to a hookah lounge, you go to whatever, and a girl will grab the ox cord. You're like, how she know this? She had heard this because she was hanging with that nigga over there mm, with yeah. all that money, and she was hanging with him, and that's, that became her favorite song. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Research. Research. Yeah. Yeah, like that's songwriting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, being in those spaces. Yeah, you gotta be in it. Yeah, you gotta be in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you gotta have be in to. It. You gotta yeah. be able to. You gotta. <laughs> you gotta get some on you. You gotta get some on you. Have you. To get some yeah. on you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's like you. It's like you hear and you go, okay, think like you talking about something. You talking about something, Valentine. You like. Y'all talking about this or this experience, y'all singing to a woman, and you talking about experiences that y'all had and all this stuff, but you guys never done this. You know what I mean? Or you guys never, you know, pleased a woman this way, but you're talking about, it's not going to feel the same. It's, it's not, not going to feel the same. It doesn't send off the same exactly. vibrations. It so, can't. Exactly. So when you're, th when you're there and you're doing that and you talk yeah. about that, I, that's when it, I don't write from a mystical place. Yeah, I write from your reality. What I do. Yeah, yeah. No, your reality. Even if I got to write it ten times. Yeah. Niggas be like, nigga, Tank always fucking up. Yeah. In his songs. Well, I, I fucked up. Always be fucking up. <laughs> 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 I fucked up a lot. Uh, yeah. uh, better now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Run right down a list of songs, man. We we we, we would just we would just get into some. To some more songs. Okay, let's start with Coco. Yeah, because as Coco. as they were interviewing you, asking you what was next, mm -hmm. thinking you was a one hit wonder. No, no, mm -hmm. no. And then you went crazy. You went crazy. Okay, run yeah. down the list. Coco. Okay, what's after that? Um, um cut, cut it, it. Cut after it. After that, push it. Push it. Um, it was push it. Thick. Uh -huh. Thick. It was thick. Mm hmm. Um, what Bay? I look bae. like Bay. Look like Bay. Mm hmm. Um, Everybody, man. Okay, let's stop let's right stop there. Let's stop right there. Stop. Let's stop. Right? Everybody relax. We're going to post up right here. Getting to the money. Everybody, Everybody man. man. And, you, and you know who heard that record. You know who heard that record. He said, yeah, yeah, I'm going to dance to this. You know the queen. Yeah, yeah. Said, I need some of this for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, man. How does that feel? My my brother from Long Beach, kicked out of seven districts, told he was only gonna have, well shit wasn't promised life past eighteen, right, right, right. Then you get an opportunity, was told you, you're not gonna have another one of these, right. Now we five six in seven deep, no seven sleep. Deep. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, and we ain't talking about on the track. We talking about the track. You, you got, feel me? You got you seven. Feel you feel me? me. <laughs> <laughs> and Beyonce, the queen. Yeah, yes. You know what? Puts, che nigga, cheers, nigga. Cheers, <laughs> cheers, man. Cheers. I, need you, I need some more. I need some. He needs yeah, some yeah, more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give him some more. My oh, man. <laughs> We man, we yeah. got to, to this. To this. Cheers, my brother. Cheers, yes, cheers, sir. Brother. Yes, cheers, sir. cheers, cheers, yes, sir. cheers. The Queen says, "I need these bars. I need this moment in my show, and you get to see that live with the choreography, with the band. I mean, is this Coachella?" I mean, this is around the it's world. Coachella. This is it's Coachella. The first night, the Coachella first night she did it, yeah. The first, the first time she did it is Coachella. What goes through your mind when you see that? Now watch this. Okay. I had a show in North Carolina at the time, so I did a show in North Carolina, and then I had to do an after party, and I was on my way to the after party while this was going on in Coachella, and as I'm on my way to the after party, my phone is blowing up. But I keep ending everybody because I'm on the ox score. I'm yeah. like, you trying to play? Yeah, 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 I'm trying to play my yeah, shit, man. I'm shit like, going on, man. man what you, what you, what you Yeah. And so my brother called me. My older brother called me. Yo, yo. I'm like, what's up? Yo, you see what Beyonce did? Da, 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 da. What? Yo, I check my, I check my Instagram. It's bumblebees everywhere. It's bumblebees everywhere. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo. I'm like, what? I'm like, well, what happened? 
I see it. Boom. Then they then I, I get to play it back. I'm watching it. I was like, no fucking way. Right? Now watch this. Check this one out. I got a good one for you. When I did Everybody Mad and I dropped it, the all the DJs were saying, uh, it's OT, but it ain't the regular OT that we hear. And me, I'm like, damn, I just started for record. It's hard, it's hard. Yeah. It's like, yo, this is not the regular OT that we hear all the time, though. Like, we like it, but it's, it, it ain't the regular OT. So, yeah. And so it took like a month and a half before this Coachella shit comes out. Coachella comes out, bro, she do it. I was like, the only thing that made, the only thing I said, I said, you know what? I don't give a fuck if nobody fuck with my music, but if Beyonce do, that's, yeah. all that that's all that matters. 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 You know what I'm, I'm saying? Good. Yeah, I'm good. And so, um, yo, I'm looking at all these bumblebees. I'm like, yo, my God, yo, I'm losing. Like, what the fuck? So I got to do the after party, but I'm still- You and your phone. I'm on my phone, like, what's going cool? You know, and um, by the time I get back, um, I hear through management that she, you know she has like permission to like use it. Like, do we have permission? Do we have permission to use it for a tour? Run with Absolutely. It. Don't ask me. Yeah, run. Just just, just run. Do, do your thing. Yeah. Just do your thing. You know. Um. So that that was a, like a super like a super super dope moment for me, cause um, that's that's huge. That's huge. At that's Coachella. huge. Or Baychella. Baychella. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Baychella, yeah. When, yeah, yeah. when she on, she, yeah. she changes. Yeah. So, um, and then, um, like, when Khaled will bring me out on her tours and whatever, and when that song comes on. Oh, they lose it. They lose, they lose their mind. Yeah. They lose their mind. When I'm on the real, on the, on the, on the one tour, oh, my God, I just did, did one at SoFi. Oh, they lose their mind when that comes on. Oh, so you popped up at Renaissance, too. Yeah, pop it the Renaissance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was like a movie. It just it. I mean, listen. It we 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 enjoy the success selfishly when it's ours and it's just us. And you know, we do our venues and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. We pop up and do our shows and we get the love and the gratitude. But it is really something different when. You know, the the highest of the high. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, give give that kind of recognition. And yeah, that type of love. Like you can't even you can't pay for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't yeah. buy that. But you're yeah. gonna get paid from that. But you're gonna get paid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I can only yeah. imagine like, what it did. Oh, the record. And then like oh. I do the Renaissance. And like after I'm done, like go home and like send, send flowers. Like you killed the show. Like Beyonce send me flowers. She sent me flowers, yeah. Beyonce never sent me flowers. I like flowers. I like flowers. Beyonce, if you come to the Army Money podcast, we will have so many flowers. <laughs> and everybody will be mad. And everybody yeah. will be mad. Because she don't do interviews with everybody, so everybody will be mad. <laughs> we'll have flowers for you, Beyonce, if you, if you stop through the Army Money podcast. OT will be here with us. Be, <laughs> if you are sitting in resident. Um, I just think that that's awesome, bro. And I, and I congratulate you on that. Because, Thank you, bro. Because this shit is not easy. Yeah. What you're doing is not easy. You make it look fun. Yeah. 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 But that in itself not, is not easy. Yeah. That's this, not easy. We've both been in this music business. All three of us been in this music business for a really long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we know one thing. Most of these people are not having fun. Yeah. Really? Absolutely. Unfortunately. Yeah. Absolutely. The three guys here today. Having a ball. We're having a ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've yeah, all yeah. hung out and had a great yeah, time yeah, together. Yeah. Like, they got us. Listen, y'all got to start having more fun, man. Yeah. Not that other type of fun either, y'all. Y'all be wilding. That, 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 <laughs> that's gonna get you in trouble, fun. Yeah. We talking about just genuine, like yeah. having a good time, mm -hmm. man. Making sure and being what I can say about these two guys. Not me as much as them two. These two guys might be the two greatest hosts that I've ever met. 
if you hang out with these two, you will have an amazing time. <laughs> you have to. They're literally, <laughs> okay, hey, hey, you good? Did you eat? You, you, is your cup full? Yeah. Is yeah. it? A, Pour like, them up, yeah. These yeah. two guys yeah. do yeah. not care <laughs> yeah. about anything but everyone having a ball. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I love that about y'all, yep. bro. And I love hanging Appreciate out with y'all. I don't, you know, I usually leave early. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I'm known to leave early. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I was, I was running back and forth. I came, I came back from gambling bowling and came back over here. Y'all seen Jay? <laughs> but Jay, Jay at home. Jay at home? <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, you, like, you, do, you do the sneak out. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then go, Jay at home? Okay. This nigga, keep the party going. <laughs> That's how he do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how Jay leaves. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like smoke where his seat was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all see? Y'all see, Jay? Very, 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 very much like Prince. What be, what, you know what, be, what be going through your head at the time? Is it like, do you look at it and go, this is my time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a clock. I yeah, got a clock yeah. in my head. I absolutely have a clock in my head. There's certain things I may see. It's certain, you know what I mean? Certain elements. I'm like, ah, it's, it's, it's that time. Once OT start tripping. If I stay, you like, listen, 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 hey, hey, OT, if I stay 10 more minutes, I might have to shoot a nigga. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, ah. OT's going there. We got to get out of here, baby. Yeah. So just, you know what I mean? Just I'm just going to make sure everybody I'm here with is okay. Right, 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 right. You good? Your driver's still outside? Uh, is it? Okay, cool. All right, yeah, I'm gone. Once I start asking them type of questions, yeah, 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 this nigga Jay about to get about it. I'm out of here. So hearing about just understanding your formula in terms of your songwriting, because then I want to get to another piece is having a good time. Yeah, Mm -hmm. is the formula. Yeah, to the music, to the music. Absolutely, absolutely. Yep. If you can't jump up and down and have some shots and yeah, so that's what you go in the studio with those intentions. Absolutely. When I go in the studio, my studio session is like a party mm-hmm. right and um <clears throat> whether it's me whether it's people there whether it's, a, it's like a party i i need to have a good time i need to create an atmosphere for myself to which i'm happy you know i know that i'm happy um things that i say is i'm, I'm i feel like i'm gonna be more creative mm-hmm. because i'm happy so i feel you know it's just like when you, you know, if you go through some shit or somebody stressing you out or say some bullshit or whatever and you know you got to record, you're like, you worrying about all of, all mm-hmm. this other shit. Mm-hmm. No, let me clean my mind. Let me cleanse my mind. Come anew and create. I create my atmosphere to which I'm happy. Mm-hmm. And nobody can, nobody can fuck, fuck up my happiness. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And I create that happiness. And so, and so I go inside the studio and now I'm like... Okay, I'm good, you know. Say, so, but and and most of the time, I'm like, I'm like ninety percent at the studio. I'm like, I got a ninety percent chance, and I'm, I'm that 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 shit finna come up. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm I'm having a good time, and if it does it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah. So what? You know what? You know what happened? We just had a good time. We just had a good time. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> let's, let's dive in the remix world. Yeah. Cause uh, yeah. you've done, yeah, yeah, your, your, your R and B stint, your R and B, yeah. Because at one point, <laughs> first of all, you challenged me. Yeah, you told me, yeah, yeah, you yeah. was the king yeah. Yeah. of R and B. Are you still the king of R and B? You, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we on the R and B money podcast. Yeah, yeah. Listen, is you gonna stand on business? Uh, do, <laughs> is you gonna stand no. on business? Or not? Is you the king of R and B? Yeah, man. man, man, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Hey, bro, you are the greatest. One particular re- one remix in particular. Your Keisha Cole love remix. You want me to tell my story? Go again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go first. So I get a phone call from my partner. The pun. Pun calls me. Shout out to Pun. Shout out to 80 of my guys. So Pun calls me like, Valentine, I know Keisha called your home girl. She tripping. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, what's going on, man? He like, you, you heard you heard uh, OT record? I said, I love it. <laughs> this, is my, this is literally my first comment. I yeah. said, I love it. This shit is genius, right? Right. He like, yeah, man, Keisha, man. 
she went online or whatever it was. You know what I mean? Yeah, she ain't feeling yeah, us, man. She, yeah. you know what I mean? She ain't feeling the Crips, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm like, wait, so she's mad at all the Crips? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think she's mad at all the Crips. Right, right. She might be mad at one, one Crip in particular. Right, right, right. I don't know if she's mad at all the Crips, right? And he's like, nah, man, like, can you call her? Can you holler at her? I'm like, all right, give me, give me a second. So I call Keish, and Keish like, Man, this nigga fucked up my record. You know what I mean? She's going off, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. I, I let her go off. I let her go off because it's her record. And yeah. Listen, I respect it. And then I go, Keisha, this is not to disrespect you at all. Right. Like, this is really showing you love. Mm-hmm. Right. And I said, what it's doing is it's also reintroducing your record to a whole nother audience and to these young, this, this younger generation. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like absolutely. I said that record. I said from the day I heard that record, that is one of the greatest R and B songs of all Super time to me. Yeah. And I said that's never going anywhere. Yeah. And she like, but I don't want to be singing somewhere, and they start singing. <laughs> <laughs> I said that Girl! may happen. I said, I said that that part may happen. Start here, man. <laughs> I said that's that's possible, right? Oh, I said, but I said, but Kish, I said, Kish, you gotta embrace this. I was like, you have to embrace this. You just just trust your brother. I I've, I've never led you wrong. You got to embrace this. You got yeah. and I was like, and on the flip side, I said these is also some good dudes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cuz at this point I had talked to OT. Yeah, yeah. He had already told me how he felt about Keisha. He yeah, like, man, yeah. I love Keisha Cole, nigga. That's why I did it and right. nigga, yeah. I love this song. So I'm I'm giving her that same energy. Yeah. I'm like, listen, these is good dudes. Niggas is not trying to be disrespectful to your record. You just don't know them yet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all yeah, y'all yeah, ain't yeah, met yeah, each yeah, other. Yeah, y'all, ain't, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And I was like, I get it. I said, but it's not what you think it is. This right. is nothing but love, and it's a way to reignite the record. Honestly, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. I was like, to me, I think you should embrace it. Yeah. And then I called them back, and I'm like, like, it's, it's all good. And then eventually, you know, y'all popped up on verses together. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've give seen. us the mind of okay. How how do you get into even doing that? So. um, <clears throat> When that happened and everything, and um, I think she was doing the interviews and everything like that. No, when I'm you like, wrote it. Oh, when give, I wrote give it. Give me the, pro- to give even, us the process. To even do oh, the record. I was in. A, me... I was in a club. I was in a um, day party. I was in a day party and it came on and I switched the songs right then and there. I'm gonna switch the words right then and there. Like I'm having. I'm literally having fun. Just having fun. I'm just drinking. I'm, and as it's on. I'm saying cuz while she's saying love, and I'm saying never knew that I was cripping, but I'm singing from like the, the, yeah. the top of my lungs, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In the in the club, in the day party. And I'm sure everybody's dying. And that's yeah, and so everybody was responding to that in my story and every like, you know what I mean? All on, on internet and whatever. So that shit was they put it up and I was like, you know what? Man, I'm finna I was in the studio when I was drunk, I'm like, man, I'm finna go record this shit. Man, fuck that. So I go do it. That motherfucker went boom. Man, that shit went, went, that shit went, went everywhere. Crazy. That shit went everywhere. But I did it out of fun. And you know, like, I love that song. And so, um, especially like to a, a street nigga, like, we all love that song. Yeah. We yeah. all love that song. You yeah. know what I mean? And so I just put the, you know, the twist on it. So then when she hit with that, I was like, and then um I had my boy over there. He's like, well. Her well, it been a few, it been like a, a two weeks already. And the streams went up by twenty percent. So why she's upset? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, you know what I'm saying. And so, um, but it was just, it was, it was just about the fun, man. It was, it, and I and I love the song. You know what I mean? I, I love the song. We grew up listening to Keisha. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, um, I, that, that was my way of embracing, but having a good time. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So when I heard it, I was like, after it was funny. And a good time. <laughs> I listened to it again. And I was like, this is a well-written fucking song. <laughs> <laughs> I typed that. I typed it on Twitter. Instagram. I said, that's a good fucking record. <laughs> and people were like, I didn't even realize it. But now listening to it, this is a greatly written record. I said, does OT need to write me a record? <laughs> <laughs> you wrote that shit great. <laughs> you want a crip record? I guess so. 
It's a great uh, record. Man. Uh, like you wrote a good record, even though it was funny and fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, yeah. it was good. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this nigga's cold. Man. Then you the king of us. Awesome, I said, man. Like, That's awesome, for my bro. spot back. <laughs> <laughs> just, just come to think of it. Do we have any R and B Crips? Nah, nah. I probably the only one. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you do hey, yo. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Y'all say anything about R and B money? <laughs> anything about us? You know what I'm saying? We got a, um, we, we we got an R and B crib. The first R and B crib is from Long Beach. Yeah. Nate Dog. Oh, you, all right, well, well, which is right. most people look at like yeah. Nate Dog was more yeah. in the rap space, but no, yeah, Nate yeah, Dog yeah. was R and B, not yeah. singer. Yeah, Nate, Nate Dog was a real deacon. Yeah, absolutely, Singing real him, yeah. real him, real him. Yeah, and he was him. He was him. He was him. The king yeah. of the hook. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so you number two. Yeah, you number two. Yeah, but you called number two. Still number one. You <laughs> <laughs> He won't stop cripping, ladies and gentlemen. He won't stop cripping. He won't. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. man. Give me, so 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 I mean, you're rich. You're doing shows. Clearly. Um, you know. Not only shows though. Residency. <sighs> Because yeah. listen, we're gonna we gonna, we gonna take y'all somewhere there's, else there's, there's, that these people yeah. don't, you know what I mean? They, they don't really know because most it's, people don't get these type of things. They're just starting to <laughs> hear about huh? my nigga, to... my nigga been in, 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 in Vegas before the Usher residency. Yeah. Yeah. There was an OT yeah. residency. That was OT. Well, well, yeah. How many yeah. years you been out there, dude? I mean, six years. Shh. Shit. Yeah. Residency for six years in Vegas. Hmm. Yeah. Like People don't understand. Yeah. Vegas is not made for urban music. Yeah. So yeah. when a when a black artist gets and hey, mind you, I'm not at Dre's, the Urban Club. Okay, he's gonna really floss talk, us talk, now. Talk your talk. Where you uh, at? Talk your talk. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, talk your shit. I'm at Hakkasan Group and Tao Group, which is the Caesar's Palace, which is the Venetian, which is the Aria Hotel, which is the MGM Hotel. Yeah. So you can give me a comp room is what you said. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I like to gamble. <laughs> you feel me? Our comps. <laughs> hey, yeah. OT. They said the Aria was packed, man. <laughs> you in a different place. I know yet. I know we yeah. yet. And you're doing you so with your residency too. Like, how does that work? Is there like a certain amount of shows you do a year, a month? I'm I'm usually doing two, three shows a, a month because there's so many venues that they have. Mm -hmm. So you're doing 36 shows a year? Just with in them. In Vegas. Yeah, yeah my math them. is just really good, guys. Them. Yeah. Um, I was just with them. Yeah. Money guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yeah, they they money ain't never they money <laughs> they money ain't never you know funny. They none ain't never funny. <laughs> do, you, do you go gambling after though or you keep it? Nah, I, 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 I early used, on I, I probably used to, used to probably early go on I was yeah. Then I'm then you start finding out how Vegas work. You like, nah. I will probably go bet on some sports or something. But yeah, but listen, once it's you, only it's once only you one time enough. Yeah, everything else is yeah yeah. This it's yours. Yeah, yeah. But take it. Technically, it's only one time. I, it's he'll only, be doing free shows for him if he just go get it and no, get it back. No, but I'm just saying at a certain point, you know what I'm saying. You you move you move a good five ten thousand. Oh yeah, you know they start making it work for a while. Be, oh yeah, but he already comped. He already comped. He already yeah. comped. He's already comped. He has a residence. He don't need to he go get nothing. Yeah, he don't need to. You said, but one time you what? I wanted. To, yeah, yeah, you's going there. Oh nah, I was saying one time I, I I gambled over there and I only I only I probably only won in Vegas a a real win only one time and I was playing baccarat and it was for my first time and I never knew how to play but I was sitting next to like. Four Asian dudes. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. And they was cool as hell. They're like, yo, you OT? Da, da, da. Yo, let's have a drink. Let's da da da. And I'm gambling with them. And I and <clears throat> with them, I won like, maybe like, what I won like, maybe like, it was like 180. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Like 180 with them. That's and I was weird. like, that's the most money I ever won. I, I don't really like, I gamble like a little bit, but I don't go too. I don't be going too crazy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'll be chilling. But that's the most I ever won, like in Vegas. 
One you know, why? Yeah, but I seen I seen niggas win a whole bunch of money, and I seen niggas lose a whole oh, bunch man. of money too. Me and you I both. I know. I seen it. I just I just I just helped the I just coached the guy to an M. Cause you know we had a good time. Yeah. I, I I I was doing so much energy and cheering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm betting my little bets compared to his big old bets, yeah, yeah. and I'm just cheering. You got this, champ. Come on, you champ. They gonna give you the money. They gonna give somebody the money. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get this money. They Jake. don't need all this. They money. don't need all this money. <laughs> yeah. By the time we finish, M. His first time winning a million. Yeah, I need mm. to hit the M one time. I got, I got to do it. I got to, I got to. Need I need, it. To, I need that feeling. Roulette. roulette. What you mean? That's crazy to hit an M on roulette too, bro. He was doing, he was doing fifty. He was doing twenty five to fifty k a spin. Mm. Oh, he was getting busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got busy. You know, it, and hit numbers. Um, yeah, and um, hit numbers. Damn. Yeah, he won. Yeah, like they would. They had to count. I done seen him. I done seen him win like. Like seventy five k in like three minutes, like we like like oh yeah we about to go over here, but like, okay let me just go back this for for fast, and like like maybe like three minutes. Seventy five thousand. Seventy five. Yeah, I seen that. I seen that. Easy. I seen that. Hey, they had the capping, sir. You can only put two thousand dollars on the number. Only two thousand. Okay. He and y'all was in the high roller room. High roller room. So he put two thousand. High limit. Two thousand on the number, and then he'll put two thousand. Two thousand, two thousand, around the number. two thousand, around the number, and th like, and then up here, to like, I'm looking, at and so I'm like, I'm like, so this is what we're gonna do. Like, I'm trying to manage his money. We're only gonna do twenty five thousand right now. <laughs> so when when he bet his twenty five thousand, I bet my two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I gotta be in. Yo, here go the funny yeah. shit yeah, though. Yeah, Vegas <laughs> fucking around and ban him. For trying to help. <laughs> hey, like, yeah, 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 yeah. We know this nigga got a couple hundred they, million, so we ain't gonna kick him out. But you, they know don't me come in back. the high roller room for coming with him. <laughs> oh, you were with Umar. Yes, yeah. I was. <laughs> yes. Yes. You're help right. me. Yeah. Say <laughs> so help me. Oh, that, he, he, he go crazy. Uh -huh. But I, you know, I, I don't have a residency, sir. So I have to <laughs> I have to gamble to make sure my comps are intact. <laughs> but we're working on it. We're working on it. Working on getting, you know, another yeah. R&B. Exactly. Guy outside of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> outside of yourself. Towel group. Yeah, like, Towel group, if you need uh, another R&B singer. <laughs> outside OT. <laughs> R&B money's available. <laughs> what do you feel like is next for you? Um, I feel like it's um more music, but I feel like it's TV next. I was just about mm. to say that. Yeah, I feel like it's TV next. Um. So I'm working on that right now. I mean, you should have been doing TV. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you was on the Kardashian yeah. show. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Boy, back. Oh, shit. I was getting to the money. You get to the money. <laughs> get to the money. Everybody mad. OT on the cut deck. What is he, what is he doing? Uh, a nigga he's, from Long Beach. He's getting his <laughs> money. Hey, look, I remember right while that was going on, it was some nigga in Long Beach like trying to troll me, right? He was like, whoa, whoa. Man, OT ain't woo. He ain't da da. He's a Kardashian crip. He's not da 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 da. Wait, a crip dashing? Oh, look, listen, nigga, he was trying to try to troll me, right? I said, well, I get on the phone with my homies. I'm like, hey, who was woo woo woo? Man, tell come from the pull up today. Woo woo. They like, no, he said it's all right, good. Nigga changed his words around. Mm -hmm. No, T, it ain't like that. Man, put him on the phone. It ain't like that, bro. I was just saying, whoa, nigga, shut your bitch ass up. I'm, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, bro. It was so it's tripping, but it was all. But anyway, you can't going be back to the pressing niggas and on the cart. <laughs> no, oh yes, he no. can. <laughs> yes, he can. I'm like, you man, press like, them. <laughs> you press they stinking ass. No, man. like yeah. What you mean? Yeah, I'm on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on there. Uh, yeah, I'm and like, yeah. I'm like, what you trying to do? You're like, man, I'm. Oh, T, it ain't like that. I was just saying, man, what the nigga, shut up. Whoa, 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 whoa. I started to get the tripping. I was saying, <laughs> I said, oh, You don't no. ride the bus no more. Okay? I know, I know, I know, I know. This ain't the blue line. I know, I know, I know. But now I but now I don't I don't I don't let I don't let like the outside stuff, you know, affect me. Only if like you in my face. Yeah. 
Oh, man. It's I your turn to bowl. Hey, man, it's your turn to bowl, okay? It's your turn to bowl. It's your turn to bowl. I love OT. Uh, Period. Oh, man. Um, but, yeah, TV's next. Yeah, yeah, you should be doing that for sure. You yeah. should have been doing TV. Yeah. yeah. You got every... You, Way too much personality. Yeah. Way too much personality. <laughs> Way too much. So, my brother... Where you, where you going? Where you going with it, champ? Yeah. Push it. Go ahead, push the keys, man. Push the keys. Push the keys, man. You know, in your in your travels and in the design of your melodies, you've 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 come across some other R and B singers. Aside from yourself. Aside from yourself, that that you also thought were great. In developing your style, T, who's your top five? Your top five. Top five. <laughs> Your top five. R and B singers. Yeah, show me can't out sing. R and B song. Show this nigga he can't out sing you, man. <laughs> you be tripping. You be tripping. I know you do, but we wanna know. Your top. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah. You still you still think you're the king after uh, that? Yeah. OT. <laughs> OT. Oh shit. Your top five R and B singers. My top five R and B singers. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Um okay. I love R and B, man. So it's kind of hard. I already know you do. Uh, okay. Um, I go with not in any order. I go with um, Beyonce. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to do that. You yeah. got to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gonna have some more bees <laughs> under your episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. um uh, I would say Avant. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, hey, hold on, real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, hey, man. Niggas don't talk enough about Avant. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cold blooded. Yeah. Avant, cold blooded. Um, who? Oh, this is good. Um, wow. It's nice. Um, Avant, I will go with, um, Key Sweat. Yeah. My, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, damn, I love this shit so much. I got um Key Sweat. What's that three? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um I have to go can't go group, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, can. you can go group. Yeah. Can go group. Okay. Um new edition. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Um and I would because and I'm not saying it because you hear because you have one of my greatest songs that you still don't know that you do you do know because I told you to sing it before I go with Tank. God damn it. Come on, man. You know what I mean? I, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can't make you love me. I, I know what you love me. I already know what it is. I, I, love that song, it. Bro. I, I remember I you, love I remember that song. you singing. I yeah, love that yeah, fucking I song. It. I love it. I love that fucking song. We gotta song. find the clip. We gotta yeah. Yeah, I can't make but you. But that song, right? I love that song, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I promise you, I love that fucking song. My brother. I don't know what where you what you was what was going on, where where he was at, what part of the We studio, just left King you, of Diamonds. Me and him. We just left King of Diamonds. For real? Yeah. Yeah. Circle House. Circle House in Miami. Wow. Still still a little drunk. Yeah. I did think at Circle House. Hey, listen, they make hit records. They make hit records, records and, and great cookies. Yeah, they make fire cookies. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
I say it all the time because it's some, it's some like a lot of people have like a lot of um, you know, everybody have like big catalogs and everything in music, especially with R and B, you know. But it's certain songs that just be like, damn, that's a fucking beautiful song. Mm-hmm. That's that song right there. Mm-hmm. I always like, damn, that's that shit. You know, every rapper had that R and B song they wish that they they, they they that they sung that they you know that yeah, was, yeah. was that song it was like that one. That one. You should read. You should remake. I can't make you love me. Yeah, that oh, should be your next crazy. one. Crazy. I gotta hear. I might have to out sing him. I can't wait to you hear what you to, write. You have to what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, see, that drink starting to set in. Man. <laughs> You can, maybe the, maybe the lyric can be you yeah, can't yeah, outcome yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't out. You can't outcome me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas can't outcome me. <laughs> Trust me, I'll figure it out. I know you're gonna figure it out. I know you are. Oh shit, man. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, All right, OT. Your top five R&B songs. Oh, okay. Um, R. Kelly, I decided. Mm. Oh, um, Tang, I can't make you love me. Obviously, it's one of my favorites. Um, Beyonce, best thing I never had. Wow, great um, songwriting. Wow, great songwriting. Yeah. Um. Charlie Wilson, I can do magic. Come on, Uncle Charlie. Um, damn, damn, it's too much. Here's what you Keys want. Twisted. Just grab one. Key sweat twisted. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Love you so. <laughs> <laughs> She came in there like, but I gotta be strong. But I gotta be strong. <laughs> Ooh, you did me wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's when you know you got a great song, though. Yeah. When it can immediately down up. Immediately. Come on, man. It was hit record sweat was right. Yeah. And owning. And owning. Shh. And I'm on. What? And he fucked it up with LSG, too. With my, my body with LSG. I, he's the prototype. Yeah. You want to be you want to be like something in this R&B business? Be it's like just too much. I got too much as far as I'm And then like, y'all put me on the spot. It's like, damn, I got to. Well, I mean, listen, it all, like, it, it's all, it all changes every day. Yeah. Because yeah. every time you hear you, uh, a song that you, you used like, to damn. love, I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. That yeah, reminds yeah, me of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Like, it's too many. Yeah. That's real. All right, here we go. We're going to make what's called an R&B Voltron, right? Okay. We're going to make your super R&B artist. So you need to decide as we're building this artist, who you want to get the vocal from, who you want to get the performance style from, who you want to get the styling from, and who you want to get the passion from, the heart of the artist. So out of all of your R&B vocalists, for your super R&B artist, your Voltron, okay. who are you getting the vocal from? Oh, shit. This is, this is good. All right. Um... I'm getting a vocal. Well, damn. Okay, yeah, because I'm building the R&B artist. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's not me. Okay, so I'm getting a vocal Did from say Mariah it's not Carey. Me? Man, what? <laughs> this nigga <laughs> lost his mind, man. So it can't be me because I'm building. <laughs> so let me, think, let me think real quick. Hold on, because I'm clearly the best choice for the vocal <laughs> of the R&B artist. There's no way you, I could pick anybody else. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting the vocals from mm. Mariah Carey. Monster mm. vocal. Um who are you getting the performance style from? The performance on stage. I'm getting the performance from Bobby Brown. Yeah. Shit. Who are you getting the styling from? The drip. I'm getting the styling from um I'm getting the styling from ooh. Um, I'm gonna start it from David Ruffin. Mm, yeah, you put the shit on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting that. Style. Yeah. I'm getting that style. Yeah, you gonna custom suits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. I like um, it. Who you getting the passion of the art, the the heart of the artist? Who mean it? 
Um, the passion. Shit. I think I'm getting the passion from David Ruffin also. So why not? Why not? Why not? I got one more for him now. Why not? Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And what R&B singer would you want to steal the record from? Hmm. Would I want to steal the record from? Yeah. Who song? Who 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 would be next? Oh, who been? Oh, that a record that you like? Oh yeah, I gotta get it. Um, it would have to be. Woo! I have some shit in mind already too. Um, it would probably have to be um, Mariah Carey. The next one I'm gonna um sell a song from. You hit. You gonna hit them notes. Yeah, I kind of look. Hold on, hold <laughs> oh, on, quick, y'all. Oh, oh shit! My mind was just so like, all I was. Did you want to on a crippin' inside? That's all I can. I know that ain't the song, but that's all I can. <laughs> he has one. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God, oh, that was nigga! Right. Exclusive, <laughs> nigga! Yeah, yeah, nigga! Mine as well. <laughs> yeah, you so cold with this. Uh, shit, I can't nigga. wait. I you, can't now wait. You so cold with hey, this text, shit. Text me that, text me that. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Oh, Songwriters, <laughs> producers, artists on in every genre. Take <laughs> notes. Yeah, yeah. Perfect what you do mm -hmm. and just do more of it. Do more as much as you can. And have fun. And have fun doing it. Yeah. If that ain't the lesson yeah. of today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect yeah. your fucking craft. Perfect your craft. Yeah. Have a good time doing That's it. Real. I always talk about the catch up. Like once you once you have your thing, when I go to the grocery store and I'm looking for ketchup, the ketchup has the same packaging it's always had. Yeah. Still in that same red bottle. Yeah. It still tastes the same. Yeah. They have not changed the ketchup. Mm -mm. That's the I grab that ketchup every time. Yeah. Yeah, I look dope. forward to that ketchup. Where's your ketchup? What can we look forward to you from from you? What can we look forward to? OT has his ketchup. For he has real. a few ketchups. Yeah. 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 Ain't just one thing you do. <laughs> yeah. You got some ketchup, some mustard, you got some relish, <laughs> nigga. Yeah. You know what you're gonna get from OT, and he's gonna do it well at a high level. That's amazing, bro. <laughs> yeah, we there. <laughs> we are there. I ain't saying no names. Huh. I ain't saying no names. Yeah. I ain't saying no names. I ain't saying no names. We was <laughs> who you with, but you did. Don't say shit. I ain't saying no names. <laughs> We've come to that part of the show. Talk to him. We can go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need you need a, a you need pull up yeah, real quick, yeah, yeah, real quick. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. So right yeah. now, we at this special segment. Mm -hmm. It's called I Ain't Saying No Names. Where you tell us a story, funny or fucked up, or funny and fucked up, mm -hmm. on the journey in the travels, travels. of OT Genesis. Mm -hmm. The only rule to the game. Mm -hmm. the rules. You Tell can't them. say no names. Mm -hmm. Okay. No names. So, <laughs> this is funny. Um, so I went, <clears throat> I went bowling with this specific artist. I'm not saying no names. And um, he's like, <clears throat> "Let's do it. Let's bowl. I feel like I can whoop your ass. I feel like I can whoop your ass." And so we there, you know. I um I had, you know, I had my baby mama with me, he has a girl with him. 
Chilling. So we bowling. I won the first one. He won the second one. Best out of three. I won the first one. He won the second one. And I whooped his ass the third one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but me, I'm not the winner. That's like, I just won on one. I'm falling all over the floor. I'm... <laughs> you Dave Chappelle the in the thing. Yeah, I'm falling all over the floor. Yeah. I'm screaming. I'm laughing. I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh my god, I got the ball. I'm throwing the ball down the other lane. I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm. You do anything. That's the winner that I am. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm the type of winner that if you beat me a hundred times, I beat you that once. You gonna oh, feel it because I'm. I'm gonna let it. you hold it, yeah. and we not gonna ever play again after yeah, that. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got you. I'm out. <laughs> so, so I'm doing all the we wilder. We go to the hookah lounge after. We chilling. The hookah. He's still sick. <laughs> he goes. I'm like, yeah. He's like, yo, we talking. I'm like, and I'm still talking to my. You know how many Grammys I won? You know how many Grammys I got? Da -da -da. So like, <laughs> oh, he went to the Grammys on you. I said, you still lost. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes, yeah, yeah. So then he's talking. I'm like, whoa. But I did it. You know, I done, I done got the da da da. And I was a real rug. Man, you know how much bricks we done sold? You know how much ooh, coming up? You know how, whoa. That's what I'm talking. So <laughs> for every Grammy, he <laughs> was <from> Grammy. <laughs> won. You done sold yeah, yeah, the bricks. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 Got, got it. Got it. Yeah. Yo, you know. Got it. It, said, it relates in some kind said, of way. Coco. Yeah. So now we get into it. Whoop, I get to my. So what I take your Grammy from you? I don't care about no, what you talking about. You went through what we're talking about. Da, 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 da. So now my baby mama, she's uneasy. His girl is uneasy. We made it so weird for the girls, right? <laughs> we made it so weird for the girls. They looking like they're apologizing to each other. Da, da, da. We're going far. He's talking about his Grammys. I'm talking about fuck your Grammys. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Da 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 da. da. You know whoa, You know what I'm, what I'm driving. You know that it became a whole thing from bowling, right? And I really want to still say his name. No, don't say. You can't say but his I'm not gonna. I take your Grammy, cut. <laughs> I already know where you went. I have a so, hundred niggas outside, nigga, waiting right now, nigga, to take your whole Grammy. Yeah, I was tripping. Yeah, I was. I got the. Cause we don't give a fuck about none of that you talk about. You talk. <laughs> you talk about some Grammy. I said, like, "Accomplishment, good." Cause you fool. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> how you get from Grammys to bricks? I no, don't understand how because, you... No, because because I wasn't I wasn't trying to be I just won the game. But, but he, he just, got so mad. The, the way you won too though, you fell all over the yeah, lane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you you <laughs> come on, man. Accountability, Account, OT. Accountability. <laughs> Look. So you get the when I say he was going crazy with the Grammy talk, oh my God. I said, bro, nobody give a bunch of Grammys. You still lost. First of all, you're a sore loser. You lost. You know what I mean? A sore, the sore winner. The sore winner. <laughs> called him a sore loser. You won't let me do my dance. <laughs> you won't let me dance hey, on your face. Hey. Like, you you tripping. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 it's bro, though. So it's like, you know, it's still cool. At the drop of a dime. <laughs> he start tripping. OT start yeah. tripping. I'll I start tripping. Yeah. I want to bring up something, though. Yeah. Something that's really important. Mm-hmm. And something that I know that you have been very, very, very uh, passionate about. Yeah. Autism. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Can you kind of give, because, you know, we we love to bring attention to causes, to, mm -hmm. you know, to different things that, that people are behind and that people support. And a lot of people in the black community don't talk about it a lot. Yeah. But a lot of our families have kids mm -hmm. yeah. who, you know, are dealing yeah. with autism. Yeah. 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 Because it's like, um, right now, mm, I think it's like one in every eight uh, black children, black little boys. Black boys, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, it's definitely something that, you know, it's something that we need to touch on. But <clears throat> if you don't know, you know, autism is a um, neurology disorder, mm -hmm. you know. Um, <clears throat> and most of the kids... 
No, like with my son. My son, he's, he's 13 now. My, my older son. That's mm -hmm. my, my first son. Um, he's 13 now. Um, we found out around the time he was like maybe what, like uh, two, two and a half, three years old. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when you call him and then like he couldn't, he wouldn't answer. It was kind of like he had selective hearing, but he just wouldn't answer. You say his name, say his name, say his name, say his name. He didn't answer. So we like, figure it out. Um, a lot of, um, parents to this day, right? It's they're in denial. I was about to. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, they don't want to get their, you know, they don't want to get their kids checked or anything like that. Find out the kid on the spectrum is kind of like, no, he's not that at all. But they don't. A lot of women don't have women or men don't have the information. They don't know mm -hmm. what autism is. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> it's best to get your. You know your child checked early, early at an early age yep. because my my son is he's he's not severe but a lot of that being that we were on it early yeah early 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 yeah. early and um and it was the sad the sad part about it is my my son's mom I'm not saying it's the sad part but the, the sad part about life and like people my son's mom I was in a position to where. I could make sure that she didn't have to work because it's it gets crazy when both parents have to still make money for the household mm -hmm. and one is gone and one is gone. And so it's like <clears throat> just sending them to speech therapy is okay, cool, but you still need to work on your child at home every day. Yeah. And a lot of a lot of kids don't have that don't have because that. Yeah. Mo mommy gotta go this way, daddy gotta go this right, way, right. and then we gotta pick up their child. Mm -hmm. And so some of those, and then also at the same time, mommy and daddy's probably tired from working, and so now the child is not getting all the help that he needs in order to, you know, yeah. to become, you know, better. And, um, you know, like, I had my, my, my son's mom was, she's always there. She's all about my son. She's all about my son. She's all about my son. It's not about like this thing where it's like, yeah, we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna run around to the club. I'm gonna da da da. My I, my investment is to making sure my child <clears throat> is you it's know everything is, he needs. Is everything he needs. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, there is gonna be a time where we, you know, God willing, you know, we die before our kids do. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, it's gonna be a time where they're left here. Yeah. You know, and. I was told a story from um, this one kid, and he's autistic, but I, he's you know he's better now. But he was saying like, um, you know, at the younger ages, like, especially with the tantrums and everything that they throw, he knew what he wanted to say. It the words just wouldn't come out of his mouth. Gotcha. And that's what made him more frustrated and more frustrated and more mm. frustrated and more frustrated. And you see all this. You know? To act out. <clears throat> exactly. But um, I think that us as parents, um, black parents, white, like we just have to pay attention to our kids, yeah. you know, and, and stay there, stop being in denial because all that time you've been in denial, your child is losing, losing. from becoming better, you know? Yeah. All that shit is repetition. Time is of the essence when you talk about autism. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Like really being able to get into those. Because now, now that we've identified it, mm -hmm. you know, as a society and even medically, it's on a whole nother level now to where there, there's so many programs, yeah. so many different, um, um, whether it be schooling and um, whether it be like even gathering places where they can have fun with other kids yeah. that are like them. Like, right, right. There's so many things in place now, but it goes back to that one thing you said, you have to pay attention to your kid yeah. and get them the help early early or you're going to miss yep. the window because being on in trying the, to be able because to help. you know we like obviously we human we human so you go oh damn like you know and they become you see somebody in denial you're like no you got to understand what that is you know and and no matter what you know God set here for you you have to take that and go okay this is what I'm going to deal with yep. you know yeah yep. and um and that's that's your job as a kid. I've, I see too many um, parents personally, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah," but yeah, da, 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 da. and 
Just brush it off, like you know. Hey. Yeah, the son is, you know, is obviously the behavior is really, really bad. Mm-hmm. Um, everything is really, really bad. And I'm not saying because because they're autistic, but because they also don't have the help. So you go year for year for year, that child still hasn't improved because, <clears throat> you know, that parent is like, um, well, we'll just let the school deal with it, or we'll just let. You know, he posts. You have to stay on top of your child. My son, right now, he's um, he he was, um, obviously he was in like special classes, but now it's half and half. Gotcha. You know, so yeah. now he's in yeah. general and special, mm-hmm. and he has straight A's. You yeah. know, yeah. So my son, he's oh, like awesome. he's sharp. He's like a super genius. You know what I mean? Well, that, kid, but most times that's what it is, though. Yeah, yeah. They 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 when, they. When it comes to the it's, it, it's crazy because they lack. <clears throat> they they lack the things that we're great at, and then we lack the things that they're great at. And they're really great at whatever yeah. that. Thing yeah, yeah, is. yeah. Like super yeah. dialed in. The yeah, super. Yeah. So whether it be a communication thing with them, yeah. or Albert a social Einstein, thing with you know? them, or but they, but when they, when they're when they're dialed into what I always say is their purpose. Yeah. Because I feel like autistic, you know, a lot of autism is like a hyper focus mm-hmm. on. On a true design, yeah, and and sometimes it's about identifying what that is. Mm-hmm. Once 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 somebody you know in an, in an autistic space finds that thing, yeah, <sighs> yeah, it's magic. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. great kids. It's, it's magic. magic. Yeah, you say. I just wanted to, I wanted to bring That's it up man, because I just yeah. know you know how how much of an advocate that you mm-hmm. are for. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you know, and it and it's I, to me, it's not brought up enough in our community. Mm-hmm. Right. Right, and it's happening. In Knowing most how to, much it affects, it's us. happening the most yeah. to us. To us, yeah. yeah. Right, so yeah. you know, and just like you said, I think this conversation just hopefully it brings some awareness yeah. to someone who yeah. may have a, a a young child, right? That they're trying to figure it out. It's right. like, yo, right. yeah. go now, right, right. Get them right. checked so that you can get in front of it, right, and that you can really help the child, right. Yeah. So, right. now nah, I appreciate that. Man. Yeah. That's really dope. Yeah, no problem, bro. That's really dope, brother. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. This is the r Money Podcast, the yeah. authority on all things, mm-hmm. all things <laughs> that r touches. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we love you, brother. We appreciate you, man. Love you guys too, man. Um, your, your, your energy is everything, man. And we pray that, you know, when people watch this and people see this, man, that they, if they don't take nothing else, man, that they just figure out, man, how to just have a good time in life, man. Exactly. Have a exactly. good time with this shit, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Write it, sing it, produce it, rap mm. it, whatever you do. Yeah. yeah. Have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Be happy. Be happy. Yeah. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> OT Jones. <Jess>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> R and B.